Hey, I'm Dave from CMX Games, and in this video we're going to learn how to set up a beginner or standard game of Copper Country. If you're just learning how to play, and you're not familiar with modern strategy board games, you may want to play the beginner game. To begin, place the game board on a table with plenty of room for players to set down cards and their ledgers around the outside. Each player chooses a different color, blue, green, white, or red. Give each player one ledger, one action reference card, which is double-sided, and all five miners, three company houses, four shaft houses, and two hoist houses of their chosen color. Place your miners on your ledger in the area marked unskilled, and your company, shaft, and hoist houses in the labeled spaces. Next, turn all of the terrain tokens face down. Mix them up, and then place one terrain token onto the center of each of the 18 mine sites that are on the game board. Mine sites are the black bordered hexagons that each have three shaft or hoist house build spaces on their vertices and three poor rock spaces on their sides. Stack the era cards in order face up with era one on top and place the stack below the era card space along the bottom edge of the game board. The era card displays the number, name, and color of the era the end of turn hand size limit known as dividends, and the buildings that are available and not available during that era. Separate the production cards into three piles by era using the number, color, and name in the lower left corner on the face of each production card. Shuffle the era one production cards and place them face down to create the production deck. Set aside the era two and era three production cards. They will be used later. Similarly, separate the capital cards into three piles by era using the number, name, and color in the lower left corner on the face of each card. Shuffle the era one capital cards and place them face down above the capital deck space along the top edge of the game board. Set aside the era two and era three capital cards. They will be used later. Deal three cards from the top of the capital deck to each player to form their starting hand. Players may look at their hand of capital cards at any time. Then, Deal four cards from the top of the capital deck face up to the community card space along the top edge of the game board. During the game, whenever a community card is drawn or discarded, replace it with a new card from the top of the capital deck. Now, use the industry track tokens to customize the game to your experience level. Beginners should use the reverse side of the local business, 19th century, and 20th century event tokens to cover up the corresponding spaces on the game board and then use the end game space to cover up the era 3 space on the game board. Alternatively, if you want an introduction to era 3 in your beginner game, you can cover up the 20th century event space instead. Set aside the start game token, it will not be used. To play a standard game, set aside all of the industry track tokens, they will not be used. In the beginner game, set aside the local business, 19th century event, 20th century event, and company cards, they will not be used. For the standard game, you can still set aside the local business and event cards, they will be used later. Shuffle the company cards and deal one card randomly to each player. Place your company card with the start of game side face up in the company card space on your ledger. Next, place one poor rock on each industry track space on the game board between and including the start and end game spaces. In the beginner game, set any excess poor rock aside, they will not be used. In the standard game, all 33 Porak will be placed on the industry track. Finally, the player with the oldest penny goes first. Starting with that player, and in clockwise turn order, each player is going to contract one miner onto a camp on the game board. To contract a miner, take the miner from unskilled on your ledger, and place that miner ready at any one of the four camps. Ready means that the miner is standing upright. The camps are the green bordered hexagons, with three company house build spaces at the center. You can contract a miner to a camp regardless of whether or not another player has already contracted a miner there. Once each player has contracted one miner, you're ready to play Copper Country.